Battle control initialized. Hello and welcome to Red Alert Gaming League Season 9 Minions Round 1. Playing as green in the lower corner we have I Overthought This and playing as yellow or gold in the upper left hand corner as Sin Jewel. Let's take a look at the production tab. Sin Jewel about a second ahead. Quick on the deployment of his barracks. He's going to get field control a little bit faster. I don't like the placement of I ever thought this is uh, barracks. I think that's going to interfere with his refinery placement a bit. Sinjul going for the lower oil derrick and the upper oil derrick. There are a total of three derricks on this map. Let's take a look at the basic tab. I ever thought this going for a War Factory first build. Sinjul might be going double ref. Sinjul ahead 23 actions per minute to 14. I had that backwards, folks. Uh, Sinjul is going for the War Factory first, and I overthought this is going for double ref. Sinjul about to capture the first oil, Derek. And an early offensive from I overthought this. Sinjul might be going for his classic move of double ranger and futs up the enemy's eco by parking the rangers in front of the refineries. He's going to deal with those rifle troops in his war field before he does anything. And I overthought this going after the power plant with a bunch of riflemen. That is not going to turn out well with the ranger there. More of Sinjul's riflemen coming out, and uh, oh, I overthought this getting away with destroying Sinjul's power plant. This is going to set him back. Still at a power advantage, but he's got to change his production and uh, and build a power plant instead of what he was planning on doing. I ever thought this about to come out with a war factory on two refineries. And the forces of I ever thought this taking out the second refinery that uh, I ever th that uh, Sinjul captured. <clears throat> Sinjul following a scorched earth policy and destroying the only remaining uncontested or rather uncaptured oil derrick Sinjul already on four harvesters I ever thought this just popping out his third going for his uh Third refinery, however, I don't think that refinery placement is going to be optimal considering how far away it is from this second ore patch. Sinjul able to maintain control over the field after a brief engagement. And coming out with a service depot well ahead of I overthought this. Also utilizing both of his uh, ore patches, however, not with the best placement of his uh, ore refinery. He could really use a third. I ever thought this ahead. Oh. Why did he reset his MCV production? 
he didn't. That was just a glitch in the Matrix. Anyway, it happens from time to time. He's about two seconds ahead in MCV production. He's also sitting on his power plant. There it goes. Sindrul coming out with another refinery with a very sizable force in the middle of the field. That's what I call... Well, I don't know if that was army retention. That MCV is going to have a hard time getting out of there unless the entire army moves north and doesn't notice where he's going. However, uh, they have seen him and they are giving pursuit. I ever thought this with a pillbox in his pocket, ready to deploy as soon as that MCV is down, going for his secondary natural. Sinjul already out with his first expansion. That is a bad rally point from I thought this. That is way too far forward. He is just losing troop after troop after troop. I ever thought this deploying his pillbox on the ore mine side as opposed to the army side. This is going to be over soon, I bet. Just a massive secondary army brewing from Sinjul. An attack on the secondary, and still a attack on the primary from Sinjul. I overthought this, calling it good game at 6 minutes and 49 seconds. 154 to 40. Let's take a look at the graphs. Sinjul pulling ahead early and staying ahead thanks to the early capture of the oil derrick and the second oil derrick. Even though it was brief, that second oil derrick just really gave him the extra income he needed to pump out some army. Interestingly enough, he's behind in total army numbers uh, up until minute four. And that only has to do with the fact that he went for rangers instead of infantry. Uh, going rangers, you know, one ranger can easily take on um, six or seven riflemen. Uh, and it really depends on how you attack them. Sinjul is just so good at using rangers early in the game. And uh, just really making them count. So even though he's behind, he's really ahead as far as firepower goes. And then translates that at the minute four mark when he just totally decimates I overthought this his army across the field. Let's go on to game number two. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. Hello and welcome to Red Alert Gaming League Season 9 Minions Round 1, the second game of Sin Jewel versus I Overthought This. Again, I Overthought This in green in the upper left or upper right hand corner, and Sin Jewel in the lower left hand corner in gold. Sinjul ahead in his deployment of his power plant. We'll see how far ahead he is with his barracks. He's about three seconds ahead. Nothing to capture here on this map. This is all about the army here. Controlling the center of the field and watching your flanks, keeping your army in a good position. Sinjul going out for scouting pretty early in the game. Uh, he might be worried about a... Well, actually, they're both allies, so he shouldn't be worried about a Grenadier Rush. He's going to lose the center of the field because of that. Faster on the deployment of his uh, refinery. I overthought this just sitting on his refinery. 20 seconds. 22 seconds sat on that refinery. However, I ever thought this having better map control. Let's see who's winning in APMs. Uh, Central ahead by 10 APMs, 24 to 14.9. Central going for his trademark War Factory first build. I ever thought this has to 
make something happen right now. He's got an engineer in the mix. No, that's a medic. Uh, Sinjul sending a lone rifle soldier to scout out the enemy base. I really like that move. I have thought this going for a double refinery build. We have an early infantry engagement and those double rangers coming out and just wiping out the infantry of I overthought this. Really taking down uh, the power plant and health. <laughs> Sinjul giving a spitzing to the power plant of I overthought this. I overthought this is going to park those... Oof. Parking those rangers right in front of the... Uh, or refinery. I ever thought this deploying a pillbox and a third ranger coming in from Sinjul to block out the other refinery. He's got to make a move though. I ever thought this deploying his first war factory. Sinjul about to deploy his third refinery. I ever thought this has got to get those uh, rangers out of his base if he's going to produce any infantry at all. They're just going to take them out one by one and that is the answer to that problem is some heavy armor from the pillbox. Just dealing tremendous damage uh, to the rangers which have light armor. Not very, uh, not very tough against the heavy machine gun fire from the pillbox. And those pesky rangers coming in for a flank on the ore refinery. I don't know what he's planning with those. More pillboxes popping up and taking out one of the rangers. I overthought this is playing very well against uh, Sinjul's style right now. Seems to have really figured it out. Sinjul with five harvesters to six harvesters, correction, to uh, I have thought this is four. The economy tab following suit, he's ahead by 300. And with 66 actions per minute and 29 actions per minute, both players are very fired up in this match. They both want to win bad. I ever thought this blocking the refinery or blocking the war factory to no effect. That MCV is still 25 seconds out at time of ranger destruction. It's all about the timing with that move, and if your enemy has any sort of counter to it, all that's going to happen is you're going to delay him for about five seconds and really not have a lot of consequence. With a sizable army out for Sinjul. Those rangers out front scouting, looking for the MCV of I Overthought This. I Overthought This taking the long way around, going for his secondary natural expansion. And that troop column is just going to get completely decimated with the line of sight advantage from the ranger, combined with the massive amount of troops. And a lone medium tank makes it to its uh, destination quite far away from the base. Second medium tank out from I Overthought This. Again, far from the base. Trying to prevent a flank from those rangers. I don't know what the strategy is with all these rifle troopers. I think he needs to produce more rocket troopers. But he knows that there's a big infantry push. He knows that eventually those rangers are going to go down and it's going to be riflemen on riflemen. And that's where troop mass really wins. 
I ever thought this with more tanks on the field, more armor on the field, and a ranger out front, so he's got good line of sight, but that ranger's got to get in a better position. And here comes the push from Sinjul. That tank getting a few crushes, but doing a good job of dispersing the army and breaking the line. Sinjul able to move in with his forces and use the rangers for line of sight to take a peek at what's going on in the base, losing all of his tanks. But with critical mass of infantry, I don't think it matters at this point. I ever thought this with his fourth refinery out. So close to the enemy, it's basically a throw. I hate to say that. But if Sinjul wanted to, he could just turn right around and go after that. No, he's going for the MCV, and the MCV is destroyed. Sinjul coming out with his third expansion. Second expansion, excuse me. There's an ore truck down from I Overthought This. I Overthought This now on five uh, miners to Sinjul's nine. Sinjul likewise reflecting in uh, 2,000 income ahead. Down to three miners. Down to two miners. This does not look good. It's only a matter of time before the forces of a Sinjul overrun I Overthought This. He's just going to find a flank. That is... It's just a matter of time. Looks like he's going for the more direct route rather than going through the mud field. <clears throat> Tend to agree with that considering the advantage that he has. That frontal force with the attack, uh, tank attack, not doing a whole lot of damage there. And the Ormeyer just fleeing for his life. Deploying a pillbox, it's not going to be enough with all those rocket soldiers, however. Sixty-seven actions per minute on Sinjul. He is flying. And here's the last ore miner down. I ever thought this calling it good game at nine minutes and six seconds. Three hundred and four to eighty-four. Let's take a look at the charts. Earnings about even until minute five when the uh Sinjul, well, he did destroy quite a few of, uh, I ever thought this is, uh, ore trucks. That's where that dip might be coming from in, I ever thought this is eco. The army graph, again, a slight advantage between minutes one and two, thanks to the, uh, troop presence. But those rangers are just so cost-effective against riflemen. It's really no contest, especially when you get two of them, and especially when you get a player like uh, Sinjul, who knows how to kite his rangers and avoid taking a lot of damage. I ever thought this holding on for a while with those pillbox deployments. Very good counter to the rangers. And uh, Sinjul in chat saying the same thing that I was saying, that... Uh, I thought this really could have used some rocket soldiers to counter those rangers early on. However, right. Just a bit slow. Uh, 66 actions per minute to 20-something actions per minute. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, ending the game with 65.8 actions per minute to 24.5 actions per minute in Sinjul's favor. And uh, that's the end of... Sin Jules games for round one. He is flying. He's already played some round three games. Those will be cast in week three of the coverage. Again, Red Alert Gaming League Season 9 Minions Round 1. Both games going to Sin Jules. Battle control terminated. <laughs>